Hello, my name is Guillermo Gallego, and in this video, we will take a look at current color event cameras. This is an example of uh, DBS events with uh, an RGB color filter array on top of the pixels, and that's what it's represented here. The red, green, and um, blue means that there is a buyer filter array uh, on top of the of the pixel uh, array, and therefore different wavelets around arrives to uh, every pixel. So from these events, uh, what we can do is we can, with some algorithm that we haven't seen yet, we could reconstruct the intensity and then compare to the output of a standard camera and see that these events, for example, we can say, are they high, uh, HDR and do they have high dynamic range? Yes, here we can see inside and outside the room, whereas that's not possible with a single exposure time using a standard uh, color camera frames. So this is what we mean by uh, colored events. And we'll see some examples of, of this. So this is a list of uh, current efforts in color cameras, and they are mostly prototypes. We have two main uh, classes, the color Davis, which uses color filter arrays, and the color 80s uh, using beam splitter. And in the color database, there are different efforts from 2015 to 2018. We have the color Davis um, or C Davis, and it has uh, basically color frames, but monochrome events. So this is a device that combines a color camera and a regular, um, well, lower resolution um, change detection uh, event camera. Then we have uh, the S Davis 192, uh, which basically has uh, an RGB white, so red, green, blue, and white color filter array uh, on top of the, of the pixels for both the frames and the events. And these pixels, they also have a higher contrast sensitivity. Instead of 15%, it goes down to 1%, which is, I think, like, Superhuman performance. Superhuman, it's about in, in one or two percent. And more recently, we have the Davis 346 color. Uh, this is an, a camera that has an RGB color filter array for on the pixels, and therefore it works for the frames and the events. And the resolution is 346 pixels by 260, with the regular contrast sensitivity of uh, the DBS. So these are the family of sensors that come uh, are stem from the DBS and Davis. And then the bottom we have basically a prototype sensor that it's a combination of uh, three, uh, three ATIS chips together. And they are giving, instead of change detection event, they will give exposure measurement uh, events. So grayscale events, but because each event belongs to a different color channel, then we have color events, different type of color events, absolute intensity instead of change detection. Okay, let's walk through them. So this is the, the RGB W color is Davis 192. Basically each pixel is sensitive to red, green, blue, or unfiltered light. And that's what you see here. This is uh, the quantum efficiency of light conversion with respect to the wavelength. And more or less you see the different um, frequency uh, response to the different channels, red, green, and blue, and in yellow, or this is the, the white channel, the, the one that has no filter. And these pixels, so they are, they have, they have these filters for every pixel, and therefore works for both frames and events. This is the idea that you have a light source, then it passes through this uh, CFA, so also called color filter array, and these are the different uh, frequency bands. They arrive at the photodiode, and then from then on is the same as, um, as a standard DBS pixel. The only thing that changes is the, the, life, the light that uh, arrives at the pixel, that it's kind of pre-filtered by uh, these CFA. 
And here we see several uh, examples. So this first column represents the type of scene that we you would acquire with a standard camera. Um, so like a standard uh, color calibration pattern. And on the in the middle column you see the events represented as white, black, or blue, black, red, black, or green, black. So uh, yeah, basically the on events are colored and the off events are black. And on the right, you see what would be, for example, the reconstructed intensity using some um, processing algorithm. How would you go from these colored events to try to reconstruct something, some signal that resembles the uh, absolute intensity obtained from a standard color camera. Right. And then you see that they, maybe the colors, they, they need a bit of calibration, but, uh, but yes, it's, it's a color image. And these are the two references, a conference paper and a, and a more recent journal paper. Okay, now we move on to the Davis 346 color, uh, and this replaces so the white channel. Now we have green, so we have the standard Bayer color. Uh, color uh, filter mosaic. Uh, so these are four pixels and there are two uh, responding to green, one to red and one to blue. And therefore this uh, camera that it looks like this, it transmits brightness changes in each color channel. With, with a simple uh, um, representation, it would be something like if you have a dot, like we have seen in the another video with the spinning dot example, and this dot had the two colors, like red and blue, then ideally you would have events in the red channel and events in the blue channel, but you would have no events in the green channel. That's ideal, which we have seen in previously, the, the, the filters are not ideal, so there is always some uh, leakage. And with this sensor, the uh, color event camera dataset was recorded. And you see the reference here at the bottom of the slide. Um, in a wide variety of scenes uh, with variety of lighting from very low light to direct sunlight. Um, it includes high dynamic range scenes and high speed six degrees of freedom motion. And here are just some, some examples. On, on the left column, you see the Davis frame, uh, which is colored. And on the right, you see the individual events collected in these artificial frames. Uh, you can see they mostly respond to, to the edges in the scene and they try to respond to color as well. Okay, and now let's go for the third uh, type of sensor, which is the 80s color camera. Um, this is uh, a prototype sensor that combines three 80s cameras, three color filters represented here in the, in, the, in the figure and two beam splitters. Basically the light, white light comes and then it's split in with this beam splitter into the three different channels. And we will use the 80s, uh, so grayscale events, exposure measurements. This is the this is the model and this is the physical device built. And you can see here how light comes and then it's split. And this is uh, an animation of the output events produced when they are the cam the, this color camera prototype is viewing the, the signal on the right. So here we see the events in space time and they are colored. Basically what is different from these events with respect to the previous one, the previous ones were uh, change detection events. So only were the, because they were augmented the, the DBS events, which have these change detection events. Uh, and these events, instead, what they do is that they have an X, Y, T, so the location where the change of intensity happened. And instead of the polarity, they provide three exposure measurements, right? The red, the green, and the blue, the absolute intensity. And that's why um, the events here are um, plotted in, in color. What are the applications that color event cameras have? Well, um, you can use them for intensity reconstruction, and this 
could inherit the properties from the events that they are high dynamic range and you would be able to acquire high and high speed scenes as well so fast um, color could help in uh, object recognition so you could use the camera to um, for applications that involve recognition of objects they have been used in microscopy imaging uh, for neurons for example that are sensitive to calcium and then they need more green light and uh, you can use them also to segment objects to um, by the color, not just by the by the motion of the events, but by the color. And these are the references uh, for the Davis S Davis 192. The conference uh, is this paper, and then the journal paper, which is more complete. The Davis 346 color uh, it's um, described in this paper, and it's commercialized by Innovation. And the color 80s uh, prototype. It's uh, um, described in this paper. And these papers, sometimes they come with videos, uh, like the ones that I've shown in the supplementary material. It's also good to check them out. Thank you.